Ramsey Abbey, on the first Sunday after the royal wedding, made a big contrast to Westminster, except, of course, for the phenomenal crowds. 10,000 visitors had arrived from miles around to greet the Princess and the Duke of Edinburgh as they arrived at the Abbey for morning service. Many spectators, trying to catch a glimpse through the windows, saw that the royal couple were not occupying the official Mountbatten pew, but, at their own request, were sitting with the rest of the congregation. Leaving the abbey, the princess and her husband received yet another great ovation as they made their way to the waiting car. The congregation itself numbered well over a thousand, adding still further to one of the most crowded scenes in the history of Ramsey. Back at Broadlands, where the first part of the honeymoon is being spent, the royal couple returned again to the peace and quiet of Earl Mountbatten's beautiful country estate. Here, the princess and the duke were seen in their happiest mood as they strolled about the lawns. The princess was wearing the blue going-away suit in which she left London. A good opportunity for a glance at some of the masses of wedding day pictures. The princess's sapphire and diamond clasp matched her earrings. Her wedding ring is of gold mined in Wales. So, the royal couple enjoy the charm of Broadlands in the autumn sunshine, a joyful echo of a wedding day which brightened the world.